What is up, YouTube? It is another Fitness Friday! Woo! And we're gonna have a good one today because today I felt just pressed on to want to talk about a lot more of what the title essentially says when you clicked on it. And it's essentially not letting someone else's story be your story. You know, kind of like the whole dad joke of you know, don't blame others for the road you're traveling on. It's your own asphalt. But yeah, um, I'll let you just sit and dwell on that. It's a nice icebreaker for now. Ah, but um, no, so essentially that's kind of what I wanted to talk about was, you know, don't, don't blame others for the road you're traveling on. You know, don't look at other people's story and essentially compare your your story to their story sorry i just kind of got home and so i'm like don't want stuff in my pockets when i do this stuff but anyway so yeah um but yeah like and it happens all the time like comparison is just something especially in the fitness world or just life in general comparison is just something that you know you do like you look at other people and you're like hmm. it's like whether it's with money whether it's you know fame uh, whether it's with you know just notoriety people knowing them or people wanting to be around them their personality whether it might be and just like looks fashion whatever it could be for that but yeah people do it all the time people um look at those situations look at those people and they're just like i wish i could be that and i wish i was like want to be that i want to do something with that i want to push towards that it's something i want like to be more of and then you know that's fair you know it's fair to compare and contrast but what isn't fair and it's not fair to you is not fair to what that can do to you and that is that it actually puts you in a place where it's worse like you put yourself you're you become unmotivated to pursue things you become unmotivated and undisciplined you don't see the effort you're putting in you don't see what impact it's actually doing and you don't see like the work that you're actually putting you don't see what it actually is accomplishing and everything like that so with fit, this fitness friday i really just wanted to talk about that don't let someone else's story be your story and it's like you know i was just looking at um uh, with me being a runner and everything like I've said in other videos where I've talked with uh, just, just what I've done it's like I used to run competitively cross country and track and so um, I find myself looking back at like you know this is the round of time that state track happens and everything like that and so I find myself looking and seeing results and everything like that and so this year was a good year for uh, one kid and uh, ran pretty good times for the state I live in and you know um, I was like I wish I kind of did that I wish I pushed myself more I found like when I was in high school I pushed myself relatively for cross country and track but I didn't push myself as much as I could have like I played around a lot I had relationships that you know taught me some good lessons that I wanted that I'm happy I learned and I'm yeah I got to move forward from that and just I you know I wish I put more into it obviously I can't do anything about now hindsight's 2020 right but you know I was looking at that and just like you know what yeah it made me just feel like I wanted to accomplish those things or even like try to accomplish those things now and it's like is that possible uh I don't think so. I don't think I could do any of that stuff uh, today. I think I could take care of myself, and I think that's ultimately the best thing that I can do is just build for longevity. It's like racing's fun. It's something that I may do here and there, but you know, it's not something that isn't. It isn't. Um, yeah, it's not something that if I don't do, I will miss like so much. <clears throat> But yeah, and so I just found myself in like, but what I'm encouraging to you, and it's the hard, it's like, it's a pretty hard thing to do. Like people will see like that. And it's main, mainly more so with like working out where it's like you're working out like every day, if not every other day, if not like four or five times a week and you just don't see any results, right? And so you look at other people that, you know, they, it's depending on what your goals are and what your why is and everything like that with lifting or well, with fitness, it's like you just see other people that just already have that they're already there and everything like that 
and it makes you just want to be there. It makes you just be like, you know what? I wish I was there. I've been working my ass off. I've been just putting in the time. I've been doing everything I can. Why am I not there yet? And to be honest, you know, if the person's nice, that would be a question to ask them. Like if it's if you saw a person at your gym or just wherever you're at, if you saw a person that you know resembled your like goal or visual and everything like that, if you saw someone that was there and you were like, you know what? Ask them a question. Ask them what they've done and everything like that. Ask them what they do, what they eat, like diet, like what's like their day to day, like what their focus is. Week to week, does it change? You know, and just mainly check on that. But I I really I just wanted this video to be about staying consistent be motivated use the visual of other people that you could see that would normally put you down use that as fuel use that as like reinforcement to motivate reinforcement to your motivation reinforcement to your discipline you know it's like it's like it's like don't look at it and be like that can't be me and don't look at it like it can be but make it your own like I, I would, I, I wish so much that people would just see something in, instead of like, you know, I want it's like it's like with basketball, right? I'm gonna be the next Michael Jordan. I'm gonna be the next Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna be the next LeBron James. I'm like, no, just be the next you. It's like those, those, it's like especially in like the fitness world or like any other professional scene. Like this can go more so than just this, but this is just how I want to talk about. But and this is how I relate more because I, I feel like I know a lot of in this area and everything like that. But yeah, it's like you could take this outside of fitness, like very much so. And I would encourage that. Like if this helps motivate you in other areas, you know, studying, like being better at your, what you're uh, already doing for work or anything like that. If it's what you truly love doing or it's like, you know, getting better at, you know, being a better person and everything like that. You know, don't see other people doing good things and be like, you know, I can never do those good things. It's like it's the comparison i make is kind of like in the christian world right it's like i have a christian background it's like i'm not here to judge anyone if you don't it's like i would love to talk to you about it if you want to talk about it and if you don't want to talk about it, great like we this is not what my my channel is not really about that it's just part of my life my personal life so it's like i keep that there this is for just helping people because i want to help people and if it's in that way it's in that way if it's not then it's not like don't yeah that's a reason for me and it's not reasons for other people but yeah it's like that it's like people like turn away from churches and stuff like that and this is doesn't and also say it's not just held to just the christian standard it's other religions as well like you know they go into that certain situation and they don't see like them being good enough to be in there they've seen like just all the bad and everything and just use that comparison just like you know and i don't belong there at all and so yeah i just I, I just encourage you you know it you're writing your story basically and it's like obviously shit happens i get it like there are some things that you can't control and it can really just yeah put a dent in you essentially or it can tear you apart tear you to shreds and that's mainly what i just encourage to you guys is that you know keep fighting it's like Obviously, it's I don't know everyone's situation. I only know mine and just the people in my life and everything like that. But I, I just wish you well. And it's like I know that things can be hard. I know I don't know how hard things can be whether uh, wherever you're at. I know other countries are in worse spots. I do live in the United States, but <clears throat> I do know other states are in worse spots too. But I would not compare the states to a lot of countries. And I'm happy that I, I'm not ignorant to a lot of what happens in the world. And so, because I feel like that ignorance actually adds a lot to the problems that we have here. Because it's like, we don't realize what is actually worse out there. Um, because if, if you're not able to travel outside of the United States, then obviously, you know, that sucks. Because I, I, I had the privilege to go outside the country. And I was happy to be a part of that. <coughs> But anyway, all, all of that to say, like, yeah, you can use this for really anything in life. I, I actually implore you to do so. And But if it mainly it's just fitness is a lot of things that I feel like I know very much I am very in tune with. It's something that I'm very disciplined, motivated about, and it's something that I feel like I'm very knowledgeable about. And I just want to share with you guys. So anyway, yeah, just keep writing your story. And, you know, sometimes it's going to suck. 
sometimes people are not going to want to read it. Sometimes you're not going to want to read it. But yeah, it's like, you know, get past that. Get to a part where, you know, you turned it around. And I, I know it's easier for me saying it. But keep keep trucking. Keep trucking along. Keep doing what you know to do. And keep pushing into the areas and things that you want to do. And keep studying. It's like, you know, but still, yeah, listen. It's like if they, you feel burnt out, take some time. Chill out, you know, relax, play some games, hang out with friends, hang out with family, watch TV, you know. Don't, but don't let that bother you. Like, don't be like, I didn't do anything productive today. I should have done something productive today. And, you know, it's like, that's difficult. I do that all the time where it's like, damn it, I didn't work out today. I didn't run today. Or damn it, I didn't study or I didn't progress in any, like, knowledge boy. Or damn it, I didn't play all the games I wanted to play today. And so I, I trust me, I understand that. I don't understand how bad some people's lives can be. I just, my mic. Uh, I, I don't understand like how bad I do know my life has been really bad at points in time whether it was my own doing or whether it was stuff that was out of my control and but there are some things that I can't control within that that I've learned but anyway um, that about sums it up just keep keep pushing like keep finding every way to be motivated in what you're doing keep finding every way to keep getting up every day and going either to the thing you want to do or going to the run you want to do going to the exercise you want to do workout and just keep doing it you'll see the results and you'll get to what you're doing and if not ask questions ask like ask people who like if they're of the more physique uh, more built more like you know weightlifty types the weightlifter type stuff ask them questions it's like you know people that community can be one of the nicest communities but they also can be one of the most judging judgy communities and it's like I, I totally get it that's the same for the running community like people ask questions ask me questions i'm not I'm not the best runner now a days i wasn't then i was above average runner so but i i would love to help out love you guys give you steps or i'm just gonna keep making videos anyway so it's like maybe that helps you so but anyway <clears throat> thank you for joining my fitness friday uh if you feel led to you know leave a like comment subscribe anything like that or even dislike again i'm all for feedback please my that's something that will always make me want to be better unless it's like something silly like <laughs> i don't like it and there's not really a why behind it which happens i get it if you don't like it i'm not questioning that but you have your reason but anyway um yeah if you feel led to i'll be eternally grateful just to hear anything that's like i'm super happy that people view any of my videos or give me any second any minute any 10 minutes whether like i can't make anything longer than 15 yet but no seriously it means the world to me that anyone checks out my videos so anyway anyway to the next video i'll see you guys and as always have a badass great fucking friday whether it be morning night day evening afternoon chronologically none of that makes sense but i don't care but have a great friday okay i'll see you guys in the next video Bye -bye.